You guys are three and one right now, and I think with the great season you guys had last year, but with how many guys graduated, outside expectations are probably a little bit lowered. Do you feel like you guys have maybe sent a message to to people outside the program? Well, last year's team set the bar very high, and we've we've preached and preached and preached this year that this is a new team. It has its own identity. We're not. We, we try very hard not to use any comparisons to last year. Obviously, you just made one. We're at the exact same juncture now as we were last year at this time. Scores have been radically different. It's a different group of kids. Um, we've got different strengths, different weaknesses. And right now, we're just mainly focusing on trying to get better week by week and trying to eliminate some of those weaknesses. What's allowed you guys to get off the kind of start that you have, especially on the offensive end where the last few weeks, point totals have been pretty impressive? Well, we've got some good skill players. Um, they do a great job. Brandon Robinson, our offensive coordinator, does a great job uh, accentuating their, their strengths. And uh, we actually have not hit our stride yet by a, by a long sense. Uh, we should be putting more points up on the board, but we, uh, we kind of are our own worst enemy from time to time. And that goes right along with being a young team. We've got a lot of sophomores. You graduate 24 seniors, it opens up a lot of doors for kids to, that have opportunities. And we make some sophomore mistakes. We're still learning, still growing. Adam Central, uh, what are some of the things that they do well that you guys need to be prepared for? Oh, well, they're very fundamentally sound, very well coached. They run that wing tee offense uh, just like a machine. Uh, unfortunately for them and us both, both of us have lost our, our best football player. They lost Cooper Hill more than two weeks ago, so I think – They've had enough time to adjust and, and work some things out. But that was their quarterback and a senior and a great kid. We've lost uh, Cole Gerardo, our senior, our, 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 our captain, and uh, probably our team MVP is lost for the season. So, um, you know, both, both teams are just working hard to find an identity and, and go from there. How has the team rallied with the loss of Cole? Well, our philosophy has been, always been next man up. Uh, we told our receiving core that they have to make up the difference. So uh, you had a couple of guys in here earlier. They, uh, Connor Blakey's done a great job, and, and uh, uh, Jake Bosler on the other end, and uh, Nathan Roop and uh, Conrad have all stepped it up. They're all getting more opportunities to catch the ball. And making up the difference on offense, the biggest hole, the biggest shoes to fill, I think, have come on defense, where Cole kind of sat in center field and was kind of the coach on the field. He was kind of the defensive quarterback. So we've kind of lost the instruction, the brains of the defense, and we've had a lot of guys struggle to make up that difference right now, which is why the last two weeks we've had, we've had trouble putting teams away. We get 21-point leads, and we should be – Salting it away, and we kind of mess around and let them back in the ball game. So, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Take me through the process by which Stephanie joined the team this year. Well, for the last several years, our kicker has come from the soccer program, and Coach Haney does a tremendous job working with our kickers. He's he's uh, done a great job for over thirty years in our program, working with special teams, and his specialty is our kickers. And we've had some great ones over the years. We've had, we've had kids go to St. Francis, kids go on to, to college programs and kick. And uh, he's done a great job. And uh, this year's no exception. Our, uh, both of our kickers, Aaron Horn and Stephanie Senko, have come from the, the men's and the women's soccer programs. Uh, Aaron's doing a great job getting a lot of air under the ball. And uh, it's a tremendous weapon to not have teams run back kickoffs for touchdowns. Because he gets the ball high, and we're able to get down there, fly down the field, and, and tackle him inside the 30, which has been our goal for that special teams unit. Now, Stephanie's come over, and Stephanie's been very consistent with the extra points. She doesn't have quite the strength. She's not going to kick any 30, 40-yard field goals, but she's very consistent. She works hard. She's got a great work ethic. She's, uh, she's just very focused. Uh, and she's harder on herself than any of us coaches could ever be. So she's doing just the extra points? Is she getting some field goals in there as well? Well, short field goals, yeah. Longer field goals, we go back to Aaron. Okay. Aaron's got a, a big leg, much stronger leg, 
He's just he struggled with his accuracy. We were running about 50% early, so that kind of opened the door for Stephanie, and Stephanie was four out of her first four, and the last one got blocked. It wasn't really her fault. So. And that's on extra points or field goal tries? That's all extra points. All extra points. We okay. had no field goal attempts last week. Um, what was the initial, I guess, reception for her? Was there maybe a little hesitation from, from the team? Uh, from the players? Initially? I don't know if I can actually speak for the team and, and answer that question. From the coaching staff, you know, it really didn't matter. We're just looking for somebody who can get the job done on a consistent basis. And as I said, she's got a tremendous work ethic, and she's so conscientious. She uh, She's a straight A-plus student in the classroom. She takes a whole bunch of AP classes. She just works harder than anybody else. And when she comes in and establishes that work ethic right away, how much do you think that helped her oh, assimilate into the team? That was that was everything. Mm-hmm. Right there. They see her working hard, and she's accepted. Mm-hmm. Obviously, for her, it was a relief when that first extra point attempt went through. Was, yeah. was it kind of a, a sigh of relief for the coaches as well? Oh, yeah. It, w- it wasn't pretty, but it was over the crossbar in between, and, and it was good. Her second one was perfect. Mm-hmm. Split the uprights. Third one again wasn't the wasn't the most beautiful PAT in the world, but she made it. Fourth one again was like the second one, textbook, and then she got the fifth one blocked. So, to and let's be honest, I mean football historically is a man's world. For True. her to to step in and perform like she has, what does that say about her character? It says a lot about her character. Um, she's a tough kid, and um, she was determined. And I think she's proven herself and and, uh, made a place for herself, and that's it.